Hey, what's up you guys? Today I want to do a tutorial on one of the most used pieces of any iPhone app, which is the table view. Um, being able to master Swift and programming for iPhones, um, one of the biggest parts of that is mastering the table view uh, because so many apps use it. Uh, just some examples are Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter uses it, uh, basically all for the home pages. Uh, if you take a look at the Facebook homepage, it's a table view. Instagram's homepage is a table view, and so is Twitter's. And uh, of course, a ton of other apps too. <clears throat> so we can get started by going into Xcode, pressing Create a New Xcode Project, and choosing the Single View app. I'm going to call this one Table View Demo. And then choose your bundle ID and Make sure it's Swift. So then we create the project. At this point, uh, you're going to want to go into the main.storyboard file. This is where we're going to drag the table view into the main view. So if you press here and search up that table view, don't choose the table view controller. Um, you can also use that, but for this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do it with just a plain table view uh, in a view controller. It's actually easier with the table view controller, so once you know how to do it this way, uh, the other way will be even easier for you. We're going to want this table view to take up the entire screen. Uh, let's set some constraints so it can fit every screen size when we're testing it on the emulator. So basically you just want all the edges to go to the edges of the screen, so it's pretty simple. And now at this point, what we're going to do is add one prototype cell. You can make this any size you want, but for this demo we're going to make it 100. We're going to make this interesting and here let's just make it simple for this one let's just add one label and just call it like the title and additionally you want to choose a reuse identifier typically i just go with cell lowercase and then that's all set up for now now within your project folder, you're going to want to create a new file and Coco Touch class and make this UI view, uh, UI table view cell. And we'll call it demo cell. So for this tutorial, we're going to be making a custom cell uh, so you can add anything to the cell that you want. Uh, there's also default ones that you can use, but you can make, make much nicer apps using custom ones. So in the identity, identity inspector on the right pane, you want to find your class and just press there. And now what we're going to do is hook up the connections. So instead of this automatic, go to manual, find the folder. Find your view controller. Wait a second here. Okay. There we go. And control click, drag over there, make sure it says outlet, and call it table view. That's all we need for that. And while we're at it, control click on the table view, drag to this little yellow icon, do data source, then do it again, and then do delegate. <clears throat> this is so this view controller can get all of the information from the table view and also give it information uh, such as the array that will uh, the table view will be displaying. After that, we're going to go to the demo table view cell and we're going to control click on this label and we'll call this title label. 
make sure this is an outlet also. So a lot of the base work is set up now. So now we're going to be going in our view controller file, which controls this view. And here we're going to do some setup. Uh, at the top, right next to class, add a comma and then type in UI table view delegate. Do another comma and then do UI table view data source. After that, you're going to want to type func and then press table view and we're going to find number of rows in section and do func table view and then we're going to do cell for row and index path and then func table view uh, did select row at. So these are all the base table view functions that we're going to need. Now let's create an array. This is going to be the strings that are displayed in the table view. So we'll call this display array. We're making an array of strings. And then we'll just come up with some default values here. I'm just doing this so we have a good amount of data to deal with. So all of these will be displayed on one cell once this is working. So inside number of rows and section, you're going to type display array dot count. Make sure you do return also. So this tells it how many items are going to be displayed in this table view. And since we're using this array, that's what that will be. Now, the next part, you're going to create a cell. So we're going to say like cell equals dq. So it's going to be cell, and then it's going to be a demo table view cell equals table view that dq reusable cell. Remember we set the identifier to be lowercase cell before, and that will be as a demo table. We also want to return the cell, and then we're going to say the cell. We call that the title label. And that's going to equal our display array. And index path that row just means the current uh, row that is being displayed in the table view. And for when it's pressed, we're just going to do a simple print statement. And we're going to print whatever was in the array that was uh, pressed. <clears throat> so now our table view is basically done. This should work once we start running it. So give me a second here. I just want to make sure it doesn't freeze up. So we're going to run this. So this should work. It's building it. All right. What we forgot to set is function table view. So since we made this 100, 
we got to return 100 and it should work now you didn't really used to have to use that but for some reason now you do and there we go all of the cells being displayed the table view works it drags um, there's a lot more cool stuff you can do with table views like when you slide like a delete button comes up see when we press it, it prints out which cell uh, so this is the basics of a table view um, hopefully this will be able to get you started uh, creating some apps because most apps have a table view in them and it's essential to learn if you want to be able to make anything like a social media app or an e-commerce app uh, hopefully I'm gonna be doing more tutorial videos like this because it seems like a lot of people liked my uh, ad tutorial so Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you next time.